Hi everybody. Welcome to the show. This is episode 25 and we'll be planning June projects already. I'm so far behind. And um, we have this beautiful view of our backyard. <laughs> this is Ripley. Hi Ribby. Um, so this is usually Oh, right here is where the dogs are usually laying when I take pictures and post them. So you're... Okay. Okay. Thank you. It is super hot in here. It's like 83 degrees outside. And it is 2.30 in the afternoon. So it's very hot. Um, I had a fan going, but it's, you hear it. So why don't you go lay down somewhere? There you go. Um... So, <laughs> this is my view every day. I love it. Um, I am wearing Uru Sugared Worsted in the color Roses. This was a Knit Crate subscription. Ruby wants inside. Let's get started because it's super hot. Um... Whips. Um, first we have Alone and Awake, which is May's dye project. Um, I have only done 20 grams. Um, again, I, I'm so stuck and edited out. I don't care anymore. Um, I know how well we're going to be able to see this with our new setup. Um, but I love that we've got a big, uh, black section right, right in the middle. I have a light over here, but I'm not sure it's making any difference whatsoever. Can you even see that? This is going to be a bit of a trial and error. Where are you getting that light from? There we go. Is that a little bit better? I feel like we can't really see anything very well out here. Um, we got some striping happening, and I like this big black part right in the front. Um, Anyway, remember, we're only working this to 50 grams, and then I'm making Ruth for the bottom, which I was thinking I might not take out, because I have so many Hillary's. Why not have Ruth, I guess, in fingering? Um, there's Eleanor, fingering weight Eleanor, also 20 grams, <laughs> is all I've done on this one too. This, this way. If we can. I'm not sure about the colorway in that I like the colorway. I'm just not sure about the I'm not sure there's enough contrast between the pink sections and the gray sections. Um, so that's my only. If I do this, <laughs> the skylights they can't see it at all. Yeah, that light only comes straight down. It's ridiculous. But see, like, we've got some of this pooling here in the gray, and then the pink coming out in between that, which I really like, but I'm not sure, like, how much you're actually going to see that. Oh, I guess you'll kind of see that when it's on, maybe. I'm realizing that I really like a stark contrast in my
colors. I don't like... Oh, let's just have these two colors. It's just, you know, I like noticeable contrast. Um, I'm trying to figure out where all my dogs are. It is so hot. I might have to like start recording earlier if we're going to record out here. I don't know. I'd like to because my room is a mess now because I had to set up my foster area for kittens. And then the kittens didn't even come, so I don't know why I bothered. Oh, I have one more whip. I forgot. I started... Shh. The mailman is talking to himself. He's probably on the phone. Mailman. Um, anyway, I started... Um, the V-back tea. Um, and I did not swatch. Because <laughs> I didn't want to. So I've, this is just where I've just separated the sleeves. Um, and then I blocked it and then I tried it on. I, I blocked it to get my, um, shh, to get my gauge and to get my, um, to see if it would fit because I did the extra small. If I like that, depending how, how much I wear it, because I wear these a, a whole lot, like I'm always wearing, I don't go anywhere, so what do I need? I can wear tank tops all day long, because I'm at my house. So, um, I do have, I like the, the idea of this tee with the yardage, because I can use any two skeins, and I have a lot of fingering skeins, like I've got a lot of Laughing Cat fibers that I've paired off into skeins. Um, there's two Mitchell's creations that, um, that I wanted to use together. So I, I can always do, just do black and with another skein, like that's not a problem. I could do like a color block, no problem. Um, so depending on if I like that, I will make more. The pattern's pretty easy. Like usually I hate yoke sweaters. I hate, it's too, like I, it's too hard for me to follow. That one wasn't hard to follow. I put it in Knit Companion and I used my husband's iPad and I was able to keep track because the highlighter and then the row counter, I was able to keep track of where it was. It wasn't a problem. Okay, so the, t the, t the two uh, May Dye Projects and Fingering Weight Eleanor, I'm working on round the clock Monday through Friday. I work on them whenever I, when I feel like it. <laughs> I'll buckle down and get those done, um, really, because I'm just, I think I'm losing my knitting mojo, and I don't know what to do. Like, what I should have done is done the d other DK weights, because I have to do all of the um, Series 2 that we introduced l last, um, last episode. I have to do all those in DK weight. I don't have sport weight yet. Um, I was going to order sport weight, but, um, okay, I was going to order from, I didn't want to order from wool to die for because you have to buy 10 and I only need four sport weight, um, Hanks. I only need four and dire supplier lets me buy them in bags of five. And since I don't plan on using a lot of sport weight, I didn't want to buy more than I needed. Uh, but Dyer Supplier is out of stock, so I'm going to wait till they're in stock to get my sport weight because I have two hanks of undyed sport weight for June's dye project, which I guess we'll talk about. June's dye project is, uh, wait, first I want to do the squishy mail before we get into June, before I forget, because um, this is from the Creative Corvid, which I believe I follow on Instagram, otherwise I don't know how I would have found this. Um, this is 100% uh, Superwash Merino DK, 230 yards, 100 grams. Um, this is called Foliage, and it is a gorgeous dark green, um, like evergreen. It's very, very pretty, very, very gorgeous. Um, and I got this to do um, one of my, um, one of our shawls in for the pattern. So this is going, I'm planning on this maybe being Eleanor and DK weight. 
not sure. But I'm planning on this being one of our shawls for uh, that will go into the pattern. So Creative Corvid is going to be um, in one of our featured in one of our patterns. Um, because it was on sale and I liked it and I, I'm pretty sure she follows me so I wanted to um, have someone that follows me um, you know in my patterns whatever it's really squishy and really pretty I, you know I'm a sucker for green and I love dark greens I love all greens but really like that dark tree leaf you know there's some really really dark green in here I just I just really really like it it's like this green and like a wine color are like my two favorite colors. I don't know why, but they're my favorites. Okay, so let's talk about June's projects, okay? We went through that. Oh my god, it's so hot. I miss myself. Okay, so if I come back and I'm wet, it's because I missed it myself because it's so hot in here. I can't stand it. <laughs> We're going to have to record earlier because this is ridiculous. Like, this is where I would be um, going, it's too hot, I can't die in here because it's like 80 degrees. It's 80 degrees, 83 degrees outside. So I don't even know what it is. It's more in here because it's terrible in here. Okay, so June June dye projects. Let me see what, I, what were our big... Here I have it. I saved it. Our big project is shorts. And my problem is I don't know how to pronounce what they are. Can you see those? Let me try to go up a little bit. No, still no? Love it more. Usually I have to turn that way down and you're like, no, it must be dark. Okay. See these shorts? Okay, so they have a fold over uh, band at the top, which is similar to my tops that I make. Um, and then, you know, the ribbing all around the legs and stuff like that. So I thought these would really be f forgiving. Um, the problem is. Um, Mahas. I don't, it looks like it says Mame Lucker, and I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it. Mahas, you're not going to see that. I'll link them below. I think it's Swedish or something. Swedish or Norwegian. Danish. Oh, it has Danish, Norwegian, and Swedish. I don't know the difference between those languages. Um, that's hilarious that I'm like S Swedish or Norwegian and they're both <laughs> listed great um, now that's written for a medium large and I think the weight for the hips was way bigger than my hips like okay so that uses two skeins of sport, medium large. Okay, size medium. So the waist size is twenty nine, and hold on, where is the hip width? So your hips is 41 and a half to 44 inches. My hips are like a 33. So yeah, <laughs> I'm hoping we can get the, because it starts at the top, I've already started a pair and I didn't get very far because I didn't like the yarn I was working. So we're gonna use undyed bare yarn. We're gonna make the shorts and then we're gonna dye in black because this 44 year old butt needs black shorts. <laughs> if I'm wearing shorts, they're gonna be black. Um, 
So that's what June, June's dye project is. We're going to do uh, the project first and then dye them. So we actually might not have a dye project an uh, episode for June. I might just wait and do July's because it's going to take me like maybe all month to make them. And then we might as well do the next two dye projects together. Uh, so we might not have a June episode, which means um, I will show you this, but then I'll be showing it again at the following, following one. Um, so what I was saying, the whole point of the shorts, they start at the top and you work this ribbing, okay, down and then you increase for the hips, okay? So obviously if I can fit my waist, then I just will stop increasing when I get to the measurement of my hips. So I'll have to take some measurements and figure out what my gauge is and all that. So that's fine. Um, Cause I, I'm, when I do the, however long the waist part is, I'm going to stop and block and try on and make sure that it fits uh, similar to these because that is going to give me these tops and sport weight. So it's kind of like there's two reasons I'm making the shorts. One is to have the shorts and the other is to get this measurement around that I need in sport weight so I can figure out the top part to make them in sp and to make these tops in sport because I have I have a bunch of sports like twos that I got from Knit Crate that I don't know what to do with so I would like to make them tops because um, some of them are the sugared um, so they're sparkly and I don't, I don't want those as, pan as hot pants because <laughs> I'm 44 years old I want them as tops um, okay the other ideas for June like I said are our for our second series of shawls which is um, Eleanor Dana Linda and Maya we have to get those done and I'm thinking of starting with Eleanor getting Eleanor done on all the weights except for sport weight obviously because I'm I'm just I don't want to buy a bag of ten when I only need four you know none of the sport weights I have match the um, yardage that I needed and because I didn't I don't want to do those in a in a yardage that isn't available to me bare so I'm kind of limited by what's available to me bare which is wool to die for and uh, dyer supplier and I don't know why dyer supplier is all of a sudden having um, issues with having stuff in stock because well you know I mean wool to die for is having a run on minis so because everyone's getting ready for their advents right so which is terrible for me because I use those micros not the minis the micros I use the 10 gram micros and cut them into tens for my swatches so but I already have like two bags so it's okay I'm not hurting I'll be able to do enough swatches with that but that is something I always try to have um, I try to place an order for every time I place an order just to make sure I have enough um, for swatching because I do a lot of swatches um, so I wanted to do Eleanor first because then we could get her written and get her out there because right now I'm just showing you shells but they're still prototypes and I have to write everything up so oh my god the sun's getting creeping up on me um, so we have Eleanor and Worsted. I'm also doing her fingering, and that leaves a DK Sport. I think I'll do a re-release for Erin and Bulky later at, when the weather turns, because um, I have so many to do. Do you think if I did them in fingering, fingering, DK and worsted we could release the pattern and then when sport weights available to me I'll just do all three on sport weight and then re-release all three at the same re-release all four 
at the same time with sport weight added because really how many people are going to want sport weight right and then again I can re-release when we do Aaron and Bulky if we do Aaron and if we can make them work maybe that's all I'll do I just focus on the because we did horses so then we just got to do DK and fingering so maybe we'll focus on those so we'll, so we'll do Eleanor first and then we'll do Dana Linda and Maya I'll just work on those until we have them all done um, also I'm thinking of releasing Michelle next week not this week next week um because i just released carrie last week was that last week i don't know is it, it the week before i don't remember um no yes was it last week anyway carrie is now available for download <laughs> check the links below um i'm thinking i'll release michelle next week because then in two weeks after that I'll release Ruth and then maybe by then in another two more weeks I can release the Eleanor's that we have um, but then it's probably not going to be two weeks for Dana and uh, Linda and Maya it's probably gonna be longer because I have three to make instead of just one um, I have not gotten in the dye studio uh, this week because I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like it. I am tired and I don't want to do anything. Everything's irritating me today. My hair is irritating me. The sun is irritating me. It is so hot in here. So I'm trying to figure out what my problem is and if I'm just like... Do, am I not inspired? How am I not inspired? I just designed like eight shawls. Like that to me doesn't say uninspired. I don't know what it is. But like I'm really enjoying this V-back tea. And I think doing something different and doing something that isn't coming out of my brain is nice <laughs> for a change. <laughs> because I'm so indecisive. I'm indecisive and I'm a procrastinator. So those two things do not work well together because I can't move until I make a decision and because I don't want to move, I like will let myself procrastinate. I mean, I'll procrastinate being indecisive. Does that make sense? <laughs> so we also have some other possibles for, um, June. I don't know how hard these shorts are going to be. I have not looked at the pattern other than I know it's top down and it starts with the um, ribbing, which is fine. Um, so it's just ribbing, 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 ribbing for however many inches from here to my hip probably. And then I assume it's going to come out. I wonder how they're going to work the butt. I don't know. I don't think I need a lot of shaping because I'm pretty like this. You know, with enough stretch, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't know. I am getting old though. I'm kind of jiggly now, so I'm not sure. I think I have to start working out. But then that's going to mean none of my tops are going to fit. I don't want to do that either. Anyway, I don't know how hard the shorts are going to be, how long they're going to take me, if they're going to be difficult, if I'm going to have to um, spend more time on them. But we still have um, the Earth Star shawl that is um, made in cotton and it's like a lace thing. And I've had the yarn since last year and didn't make it, really want to make it because I wanted something nice and lacy and... Again, don't know how hard that is. Maybe I'll be able to do that in July. I'm not sure. Because I still, on top of all of this, have to do my swatches and 
open my store, which is totally... Opening my store has been completely not even a thought in my head lately, so... I, when I get overwhelmed, I get indecisive, and then I procrastinate. Because I'd rather not make a decision than make the wrong decision. Does that make sense? Anyway, other than the Earth Star, I have a cake of sport weight uh, merino and tensile, which I believe tensile is supposed to be less hot. And this is hot knit, but it is her seconds seconds it was something wrong with the colorway I think I think it's supposed to have like yellow in it or something but I don't like yellow and I love the colors and it. it looks like a gray rainbow I absolutely love this so much can you see it oh I just love it um so I'm thinking it looks like I started a Michelle it looks like I started a Michelle um so this is going to be something lacy, I can tell you that. And then this is created for you by Laura, I believe, who has the most colorful booth I've ever seen. Um, not that I've seen many booths because I've only been to like that one fiber festival because it was 10 minutes from where I live. Um, this is a fingering tensile wool blend. Um, so again, probably Michelle or Linda. Actually, this will probably be a Michelle and this will probably be Linda. So I can have them both, but different. And we'll see how a sport works up. Um, so those are two possibilities, but pretty much I'm focusing on the second series shawls and getting them done so we can get them out to everybody that's where my um, that's where my um, priority is is to get those four shawls um, released as soon as I can um, and then release Michelle and Ruth Michelle and Ruth um, yes so, we have dates for that. So, today is uh, the 19th. So, we'll release Michelle on the 28th. And we will release Ruth on the 11th. And then maybe by the 25th, we can release Eleanor and then we'll be into July and now if I get the other ones done um, the problem is I have to make three shawls well I already made one so I had to make two more shawls for each one so that's four shawls that's eight shawls I have to make um, so listen up if you are interested in making w any one of Eleanor, Dana, Linda, or Maya that I showed you in the last episode, they're also this week on Instagram. I'm giving them all their own day of where I post them. So if you want to go look at the Instagram, all links are below. You could also go to Morning Dew Studios Ravelry project page. You will see them all there too with all the information. Um, well, not I don't think I put in their measurements in that, but um, I certainly could. Those are in the video from last week. Um, if you want to make any of those, um, and you have a scale and you know how to use a scale because of my scale video please contact me Instagram Ravelry email is probably quickest because the email goes right to my phone so was it morning do studio at gmail I think 
I'm not sure. Go to the website. It'll probably tell you. Um, <laughs> I don't know my email. <laughs> um, so I need DK, sport weight, and fingering for those four shawls while well, I'm doing the fingering of Eleanor right now. So if you want to do fingering, sport, DK, and any of those, um, let me know. I will talk to you about what yardage you need because um, there are certain yardages I need them to be for my um, for my shop. Um, and I will send you, I got so distracted, I'm so sorry. I will send you, I will write it up, send you a copy and um, then I'm available. I mean, I'm here, so I'm available anytime, anytime that you need um, help. I'm, I'm pretty quick to respond, especially if it's email, because it goes right to my phone. Um, so, look at my little, look at my little girl, isn't she cute? She loves the sun. Um, anyway, I'm getting sun now. See how it moves when you're Come here. Come here, baby girl. Yeah, you can do it. The foster's still here. She's become my little shadow. She's super cool. Hot out. I know it's so hot. I know. She's going to the vet tomorrow, either for a dental or a spay. I don't know which. Okay. So... Also, we could do more tops. I do have two tops, but I, I think I need to... Is my focus on the shawls why I hate my work right now? Like, I don't want to do anything. Is it because I need, like... But I'm so far behind. Like, this is already June. This means we got... What did I say it was? The 19th? Oh, my God. So we literally have a week... No, less less than two weeks because Monday is the last of the month. I have like literally no incentive to finish the fingering Eleanor or <laughs> May's dye project, especially if we don't if we're not doing June's dye project on schedule. Because what's the point if I don't have that ready to go? Because I'm not gonna have that ready to go because I haven't even started it yet. I just want this to be fun and it's ceasing to be fun so I kind of just want the designing to be over so I can put them out there and then I can just work on what I want to work on because come fall there's lots of stuff I want to work on I have a full I have a full um, bunch of Malabrigo shawls that I wanted to do remember I have to redo my night shift shawl. Well, I have to redo the cast off. Because I didn't use bigger needles than I should have, and I want to give it a more aggressive blocking than I did, because I should have used a bigger needle size. Um, okay, did you watch Debris? Because, like, that was so cool. But, like, where did the ball of light go, guys? What the heck? And then next week's the finale. So what are we going to do? I just hope they don't get canceled because I love them so much. But I love the the debris, like, trying to make contact, like, aliens. Like, it's like the aliens reaching out. I'm so excited. But I, I want them to look like aliens. I don't want them to look like some chick. I want them to look like aliens. Anyway, so, so that's all I have so far. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do besides shorts. Then there's a bunch more tops we can make after that. <laughs> 
I think I, sh I need to start making the tops because I'm falling behind in the tops. Um, and I can do those at night. Those are an easy project that I can do at night. But at the same time, I don't... If I'm going to be doing all that ribbing, I'd rather wait and just do the shorts. Maybe I'll do the shorts first and then after the shorts are done, we'll start tops because all that ribbing and sport weight is going to irritate me, I'm pretty sure. Do you like my view? Do you hear the birds? It's a nice street. We don't get a lot of traffic, which is funny because I live off like a real busy major street. And the only time we have cut throughs is if there's, um, they were doing construction like last year, two years ago. And oh my God, we had so much traffic down here. It was so irritating. Um, but see, we have a fence that goes all the way along the property. We're on a corner lot, so this all for the dogs, this backyard. Um, that is a cherry tree. I think they're Rainier cherries, but you don't get cherries every year. It's weird. Or maybe sometimes the squirrels get them all first. We've had a ton of squirrels. Um, so yeah, this is my this is my sanctuary. This is my favorite room in the whole house, even when it's 80 degrees. And then usually it's hotter because I got like steamers going. <laughs> but I try to do all that stuff way early in the morning, so I think next week we're going to do this way earlier in the morning. Like, I don't know, it depends what time I've been waking up, because I've been waking up late. Anyway, um, that's all I got for you. Um, I feel like I need to be doing more to um, have longer videos, but maybe a smaller video will be better for you since the weather's nice and hopefully you're all out enjoying yourselves and your knitting and festivals. <gasps> I'm at full immunity. Because it's Friday. I'm at full immunity from COVID now. I'm still wearing a mask because I don't trust, especially out here. Oh, my God. We have a whole bunch of anti... That one anti-mask lady that you saw going into the DMV. And well, she else went to some other... She went somewhere else. She, like, went viral. <laughs> she was all over the place. The anti-mask lady at the DMV that gets thrown out of the DMV. Yeah, that's near to where I live. So those are the people in my community. So I'm not going outside without a mask anytime soon. I don't care that I am fully immunized. This still means I can catch it. It just might not be as bad. And it means I can still carry it. Jim Bill Maher has it and he is, he's asymptomatic. So I was wondering, like, if you catch it and you're asymptomatic, do you still have, like, any long... Can you still get those long-term effects? That's what I'm terrified of, is the long-term effects, because I already have chronic illnesses. Like, that's the last thing I need, is, like... What do they call them? Long haulers? Whatever. No thanks. So, I'm still acting like it's full pandemic outside until the WHO says we're okay. <laughs> Poor India. Oh my god, my heart goes out to India. It must be frightening. It must be so frightening. I know when our numbers got high, I was so terrified. It was like, we were so scared to leave the house just to get, you know, essentials to get food. And there was no toilet paper, there was no soap, there was, oh my god. Americans really, like, I shouldn't say that. People in my community were not good about sharing <laughs> about that. They got scared and went and bought everything. So 
I think you can now get like Clorox wipes. I think you can now get those at the store now, but I'm afraid that li lifting the mask mandate, um, I know a lot of anti-maskers are also anti-vaxxers, so in we <laughs> my state, Ohio, is even do a, a lottery for if you get your shot. You only have to get one shot and you're entered into this lottery. So if you're an adult, you get a uh, chance to win a million dollars. There's gonna be five prizes, I guess, of a million dollars. And if you're a kid, you can get <coughs> four years of state college all paid for, um, including, I think they said, um, living, living, living stuff. Not just, um, not just tuition and everything, but like living stuff, I think. Um, anyway. <laughs> I entered us into it. <laughs> I'll take a million dollars, thank you. But of course, there's only five, so. I don't know. I was seeing some comments of anti-vaxxers. You couldn't pay me enough to put that poison in my arm. And I'm like, enjoy COVID. That's worse. Be quiet. Anyway, I hope you got your vaccines. I hope you're all ready. I hope you recovered quickly. Um, I hope you're staying safe. And hopefully the worst is behind us. Let's not get into that again. I don't have time to try to make my brain do that again. I must head off because it's so hot. And the sun is starting to, I don't want to get a sunburn on my shaved head. <laughs> it's because the skylights, um, the sun moves <laughs> like almost an hour later. Um, okay. So, um, take care of yourselves. Um, what do I normally say? I can't, my, the heat is getting to me. Um, take care of yourselves and I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye.